I think they're near the intersection of Wesleyan and Bissonnette. And uh, like you can see that there are some cars stalled out. Look at this guy. Hey, go. Yeah, this guy's actually pushing his car out of the flood water right now. He was sitting there for quite some time and now he's attempting to push it? Oh man, he doesn't have on the right clothes for this. I don't know if this is going to end well. And then now we've got this guy getting out. Is he about to help him? What is he doing? Oh no, I don't know if this is going to end well. Okay, he's helping him. Good. Okay. Yeah, that, that was nice. Wow. And this is right, you guys, at Wesleyan and uh, Bissonnette, a very busy shopping plaza around here. Oh no, it's coming back. Oh no. Oh no, I don't know if he's gonna make it. Oh no, he should have. He needs help. Oh no, he's not gonna make it. Oh no. Oh man, that car is deep in that water. Someone else needs to help him. This is crazy, y'all. I've never seen anything like it. These cars, I mean, this water, it just gets deeper as you go into the street. And this is a shopping plaza, so a lot of people uh, pulling over, waiting around, uh, choosing to just kind of sit where they are on a Tuesday, you know? Maybe they're on their lunch break or we're trying to get somewhere. But this guy over here, his pants are completely drenched. And this nice person helping him, now his pants are also drenched. I mean, wow. And you see people, if, if you step over here, I don't know if you can see it, but there are people past this just, just kind of sitting there with their hazards on, choosing not to come this way right now. This is after heavy rain pounded uh, the greater Houston area. Tornado warnings in effect. We heard thunder. We saw lightning. We've heard about homes being struck by lightning. And now this guy's car is just kind of stuck there. And, um, and that's, that's a tough